Yes, I am aware that the title of this video rhymes. Thank you very much. It's straight up bars, mate. So DICE has actually decided to go ahead and reveal the Battlefield 2042 open beta dates. Would you believe that? No, you wouldn't. I didn't. Well, I have now. What? So it's got me thinking a bit more about the weapon mechanics of the game. You can change attachments on the fly, meaning that you are ready for any situation. But I'm sure that the attachments will be quite different from Battlefield 4's. The game did come out in 2013, which is... Well, it's a long time ago, isn't it? Even though we've seen the playtest leaks, uh, we still don't have a full grasp on how they exactly work because, well, some of the players playing the playtest were... Sucky. Sucky. In Battlefield 4, I believe that the weapons often work better with less attachments on them. Now, this isn't always the case, but for the most part, I would say, do you really need an underslung rail? Oh, I'm sure there's a few of you out there that are underslung rail warriors. And to those people I say... Okay. In this gameplay here, I'm only running a red dot sight and an angled grip. That's all you need for a gun like this. If you take any of the other muzzles or barrel attachments, you might run into some issues. Laser sights and flashlights are just a dead giveaway. You'll show little Johnny sitting prone on the ground with his bipod exactly where you are. Muzzle brakes and compensators make your gun very inaccurate. Maybe if you're just starting out or getting in people's faces, you could run these, but I'd seriously recommend just learning the recoil of the gun. Silences are good, yes, but I'd recommend keeping them quite situational. Look, with these attachments, I'm not saying to never use them. Sometimes they work really well, like putting a laser sight on a PDWR. You won't ever need to fire down sight ever again. But if you are trying to improve your gameplay ahead of Battlefield 2042, I'd recommend only taking a red dot sight and grip. Trust me, you'll get to know the weapon much better and you'll start hitting the top of the leaderboards more. But that's about it for today. Remember to like the video if you found it useful, and subscribe if you want to see some Battlefield 2042 content coming up. Alright, thanks for watching.